Welcome, guys, to Carta Magica's first chance to do an unboxing here for the Avengers Assembled. Uh, I, of course, am Vince of Trader Armor. If you don't recognize me, it's because you've never seen me on camera before. Uh, we, our goal is to have you see me at the Canadian Nationals, but due to either unfortunate or very fortuitous luck, uh, that did not occur. And with me today is the often mentioned but never seen... Judge Jeff. Judge Jeff. So what we have for you today is a complete case, uh, and we want to do a quick shout out to oh, another store in town, uh, Comic Book Shop 2, another one of our, our local uh, WizKids uh, providing game, uh, lent us the bricks so that we can do this because there was an issue with getting the bricks early so that we could do this. So thank you so much for helping us do this. So uh, Judge Jeff are going to be opening the full case, and we're doing it live, so if you have any questions, feel free. Uh, after that, for the last two boosters that we open each, we're going to be doing a sealed event. So later up on the YouTube channel, we're going to have a sealed match for you. All right. I feel like we should take a look at this art first. I'm a big fan of the villains on the back. Uh, we got an ad for the uh, Age of Ultron OP event starting pretty soon, which I am personally very excited for. And then on the front, we got some awesome artwork here of the Avengers, as may be found in this set. You can see on the sides that there's some extra stuff too with Avengers Academy. Apparently there's villains in this set. Uh, there's six of them here, so I assume there's six in the whole set. And the cards and everything else as well. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. Our, uh, our system today is Koi Terry, uh, another one of our players that you probably heard us uh, mention quite a bit. Uh, he's going to be helping us out. Yay! You want to put the two aside? Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, so we got... Uh, well, no, for the second one. I'm okay. just getting them out of the way so they're not in the middle. Boop. So I... Uh, you know what? I will give you the, the honors, Jeff. You All open right. yours first. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Hope you guys are all enjoying your uh, new clicks uh, days. Always, a, always an exciting time when the, when the new clicks appear. I tend to just rip the box open because I can't even control myself on it. Oh, got an ID card already. Ooh! Really exciting stuff. And who else do we have here? Who do we get? We got uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Spider Woman, Whirlwind, a villain, Black Swan, which. Uh, we, we were talking about earlier with her uh, kill, kill everyone on your opponent's team. Power. Yes. That is going to be something to deal with. We were talking about some ideas on how to get her there. As as are many people. Yeah. Nice to see a classic, uh, classic villain whirlwind that we haven't seen. Is it really is, been since Affinity Challenge? Has he been carded? Yeah, I don't no, think so. No, I don't think so. I, I think, think he was I've one of the first in uh, it's been a while. Carded version. Uh, we have Aleph here. Aleph? Potato? Potato? with those guys. Excellent. That whirlwind looks great. And which card did we have? Oh. Well. First pack got an Avengers ID, so that's a pretty good. We're going to be opening the two bricks separately so we see the numbers. It's a manifold. Manifold. And his inspiration ability is to modify speed by plus two, which is always helpful and not terribly surprising for manifold. Excellent. I'm up. Uh, so we got uh, Sandman. We have Superior. Uh, we have Smasher, Justice, and Triathlon. <laughs> that Sandman looks great. Yeah, he does. I was a big fan of the uh, the last dial end sculpt we got from them. Was it amazing? No. What was the uh, web of? Yeah. Web of Spider-Man. Yeah, that was a while ago. It was a while ago. Captain America. Captain America. Uh, also in here we have D-Man, Rage, Living Lightning, and Reptile. No cards, but that cap looks so good. I'm, I'm a little surprised to see these 150 and not 130 for the even points, but... Uh... 
maybe they're taking into account other things. But yeah, that's a pretty good cap. That is a great looking like skill. Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited an awful lot about the Scarlet Spiders. But if someone wanted to give us notes in the future, Sharpies would probably work better. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> that was the Alex, by the way. Uh, he says he won't do any dancing for you today. Speaking of my favorite character from the set, there we go. Scarlet Spider. Ask him to see. Oh, I see. Uh... The MVPs. So uh, when we found out that the point costs for MVP, uh, the Scarlet Spider, are 60 points, I'm like, oh, great. I'll put three of them together. It's 180 points. How much is the last Iron Spider Spider-Man? It's like, really? 125? Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Why you got to be like that? So metal, turbo. That's weird. It says Kate Bishop and not Hawkingbird on there. So it was a joke name she had in the comics that everyone kept calling her Hockenberg. And Jarvis. This time, not a scroll. Or is sure? that just what they want us to say? Yeah. And that's that's a, a yeah, that it, is, it is a, a very really nice, nice skill. Cleaning up. All right. Anything else you're really looking for? Um, you know, I, as funny as it is, I was, I'm really excited about the figures we're getting, but the more I looked at it, I found most of the characters that are my, my favorite, favorite, favorites are all uh, Age of Ultron. Yep. So it's, these ones are a lot of, I'm not, I don't have ties to them, just look really neat. I'm, I'm really interested, a lot of the, uh, dials of the chases have been shown now, and Looking at that Rick that I know I know yes. you and me are talking about it a lot. Yeah. I'm really interested to see how that plays out mm -hmm. with uh, that mechanic to keep bringing in more sidekicks over and over again. It looks great. And I'm really excited to try to. Uh, new figures in this set or this pack include Abyss, Ultra Girl, and Son of Serpent. Got a nice green costume. Any ID cards this time? Uh, no, not for no, me. So right now we're at one SR and one ID card. Yes. And all, all on that side of the table. All on this side. Of all the on table. Judge Jeff's side of the table. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got a second ID card. So we've got uh, in mine we have uh, Rage. We have Reptile. We have Cammy, Drax's little sidekick. We have Forgotten One. I always forget about him. It's weird. And Cersei. Oh, nice. She kind of looks like one of the bad girls, actually. The the yeah. societies. Yeah. And my card is Hercules. Who uh, de debunks the idea that every uh, character who has a card in the set will appear because Herc isn't in the set. So Hercules, uh, his inspiration is modify damage value by plus one. Herc. Right. Oh my lord! What a big, beautiful head. <laughs> Look at this. Big Look at the melon on We've that. never had this conversation, but do we do phrasing? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I feel I, it needs to be in rotation. I, I feel like hybrid would fit in with the... Um, wow. The diorates? Yeah, the diorates. That's what hybrid I is a I, I, was, I was thinking rude for some reason. Is he a mix of diorate and something? Uh, yeah, it's uh, in, in the uh, wrong comic. The uh, late 70s hybrid shows up. Oh. It's actually a mutated diorate. Gotcha. Well, that's why they share the exact same hue. Yeah. They, uh, Rom teamed up with the X-Men. Good to know. Good to know. A couple other new figures here. We got Falcon. Mm -hmm. Pretty good there. We have Silver Claw. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking the sculpt on that Falcon. I, I like the dial on the last Falcon that we got in Captain America and the Red Wing. I just wasn't a big fan of the peanut base. Like, I got it. It made the sculpt look good, but... They did a lot of peanut bases in the 
Yeah, there were a lot of peanuts going on. Cap too. And uh, also Turbo is here. And another. Okay. All right. And no ID cards. So no ID cards. Okay. And uh, oh, my first test. So I got uh, the new Miss Marvel. Who is uh, one of Silent Pants' biggest wants of the set? Uh, I also got Justin Seifert. Seifert. Yeah. He's the guy who's going to be making every robot his so- his Sentinel. And For people who aren't familiar, familiar, he's the kid who rebuilt the Sentinel. There are uh, a few Firebird. Robots I can think of that'll be fun to do. Oh, okay. Being being a big Daredevil fan myself and a New Avengers fan, Echo. Oh. She she's one of the figures I was most looking forward to this set. Uh, Echo is one of the figures you I've been looking forward to most of the set. Yeah, she would be. Yeah, when I was looking at it, most of them were going to be in Avengers uh, in Age of Ultron. But Echo is one of the few that are in this set, so that was yeah, cool. and her ability to it's almost Taskmaster esque. Yeah, uh, but uh, able to copy from friendlies. Yeah. So that's uh, that is not a small change. No. So we my SR. Marvel looks really good. Yeah. Kamala Khan. We're down to our last boosters from this one, so All right. we should have at least one more SR go. And we've well, just we have been told go- that they're, we're going to have a contest, a Twitch contest. Oh. So, the hey, first Sharpie. person <laughs> to correctly guess the first chase, we have a full case, so we're hoping there's going to be a chase. And the first chase that we pull, if correctly identified, will win a Spider Ham LE Con exclusive. Ooh. So, make your guesses now in the chat. And whoever guesses correctly first could be winning a spider ham. How off are you? Should I give you the count of ten just in case there's someone in here? There's no one in here. <laughs> oh. But there is a prime. Power princess. Power princess. She's the uncommon prime. And she looks great. And one of those villains we've been hearing about, Arcade, who also has Murder World on one of the maps yes. for the OP kit, or the uh, release date kit. It should be in here. Should I wait to open this? Or yeah, how about we go ahead and uh, explain to the viewers exactly how the ID cards work in case they weren't filmed in. Okay, so we'll, we'll do another uh, quick check. So we're going to do a quick uh, read of the ID cards, and just in case you guys haven't got a chance to watch the nice video that Whiskey's did put up. Uh, so... The setup at the beginning of the game, and this is of course just the ID cards, not the resource. Uh, so at the beginning of the game, choose a character on your sideline with a name or real name matching this ID card and turn it to a starting line. This character is called an ID character. You can have more ID characters on your force than characters placed on the map at the beginning of the game. This card is unique. Second is call in help. At the beginning of your turn, you may activate the ID card, uh, one ID card per force. To activate an ID card, choose a friendly character that has no action tokens and is equal to or more than the ID character starting line. Uh, given the character a power action and place the ID character adjacent to it. Then remove the ID card from the game and your opponent scores it. The ID character can't be carried given double power actions, replaced, or assigned resources. The ID character returns to your sideline immediately when A, at the beginning of your turn, B, if it's not within five squares of the chosen character, or C, if it's removed from the map by any other game effect. The last one is the Inspire. When a character friendly to the ID character is adjacent on the map, they can use that character's ID inspiration. How do you feel about this entire mechanic? Uh, It's interesting. One of the things they've pointed out that's different between an ID character sideline and a regular one is normal sideline characters have to be on their KO. ID characters have to be on the click that you're going to be putting them on. Interesting. Yeah. So you can take a look and see where you're going to go in. I, I think they're interesting because I was a big fan of feats. Not because I wanted to, oh, I wanted to build Fortitude or this, but when you're building teams, they come constantly 8 points short, 10 points short, and so the option of filling yeah. things out, and I don't always want to use a resource. Uh, so having small things, 5 point increments, yeah. look like they'll be really handy. Like, I'm not going to say... I'm going to build with these six ID... Like, some people can. That's fine. 
but that's not going to be my style. I won't say I'm going to build these six ID cards. What other 270 points are going to be on my team? I find there's many games I've played where I've gone, oh, I'll throw a, a ring on there. I got the points, whatever. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting point filler. And you know what else I'm a big fan of? Marvel vs. Capcom. Yes. Games like that. And this is, this call is, the, this is the call in. You, know? <laughs> you can call a guy in. Well, we need are some uh, Capcom clicks, and then boom, we're on. Do so, Capcom? Street Fighter, but I remember So something. yeah, open this or yeah, save this? It's time to go. Okay. All right. So, uh, I guess Has everyone been attempted? Or <laughs> <laughs> Same guy has six guesses. <laughs> Our wrath of God. Is this number nine? Is this number ten? This is number ten. Oh, look at that. Number ten. How many, which number did you duplicate? I, I did, and I just threw it. You just skipped one? Skipped. One booster had ten guys. Yeah. Oh, no. Interesting. So, uh, Korvac, SR. So, looks like people are getting out of his way in the boost. Getting out of his way. So, Veil. Living Lightning. Who, you know, actually, because, wait, yeah, because he's a common, this would be a really good one for people to collect and use as Captain Cold Barriers. 3D objects for your Captain Cold Barrier. 30, 40 of them on the map. Would look pretty cool. Another Justice. Natasha, Black Widow. And just the two ID cards? Just two ID cards. Two ID cards and no chase this time. Okay. So in one brick, we got. How many SRs did we get? Three SRs? You got one, I guess, too. Fire Cap. Yep. And Prime. Yep. So three SRs and a prime. And two cards. Quebec. Okay. Excellent. I was just taking a look while you were reading yes. the uh, inspiration at Arcade's oh. rates. D Judge Jeff wanted me to make sure that uh, we were just going to pass this off. That uh, he wanted to show us that he has the Hail Hydra dice. I do. Sneaky on the scene. Arcade's trait is very interesting, and I'll read it. Uh, when rolling to determine first player, no player receives a modifier to their roll. And when on a map whose name includes oh. Arcade's Arena, at the beginning of the game, you may start Arcade on click 7. If you do, Arcade has Power Cosmic and can use Ignoring, uh, Hindering Terrain, and other friendly characters have the robot keyword for the rest of the game. It's interesting to see a character that benefits from map selection. So, uh, Home Turf. Like we're seeing that also with... Just obviously a map can uh, benefit a team, but, yeah. but yeah, this, this, is, this is awesome. straight. He's getting extra powers for being at home, which is really cool. Yeah, and uh, uh, one of our uh, helpers, uh, Justin at home, just let us know that uh, he couldn't find the Miss Marvel dial, so we're gonna we're gonna spoil that dial for you. So we're gonna get uh, Alex to just bring that a little bit closer to the camera. Show you the dial. She is grounded with no special icon, so it's just the regular four. Put your hand behind it. Okay. A little bit further back. Yeah, there you go. So that's the, the, that's the dial, guys. We have uh, two things to read, and we'll bring the card up in a second. So her trait is Embiggen. At the start of your turn, you may choose one. Giant and Super Strength. Tiny and Stealth or Colossal and Close Combat Expert. Miss Marvel has the chosen combat symbol and can use the chosen power until your next turn. Secondly, she has a damage power, Polymorph. Miss Marvel can use Shape Chains. When she does, as a res and a result of six, you may heal her two clicks. So we'll just get Alex to bring that up to the camera. Give you a couple seconds on both sides. A little bit down, Alex. And try putting your hand by it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. These will all be uploaded. And yeah, and if there's any questions you guys have, feel free. So I'll leave my SRs out. I'm leaving all my fingers. Excellent. So just a reminder, uh, one of the things that we're doing is after after we're done with the unboxing, we're going to be doing a sealed event. It won't be myself because I'm going to be commentating again. Uh, so, uh, but I will I will help uh, Koi Terry build a team. 
or Terry, Koi Terry and I will help each other build a team to decimate Judge Jeff. So the last two boosters that we both open will be our sealed pulse. And the chase is still fire. The chase is still fire. It's still still fire. You're on here too. You're Koi Terry's too. Yes, I will make a mess. That is totally what I would do. So. Represent, Terry. All right, uh, I went first last time, so. After you, sir. Oh, did I go? Just put, uh, those are my uh, seal boosters. Blop. Shaken or we haven't been shaken. Single. What am I doing? Like, rookie move. <laughs> oh, that's green. There we go. We got the Hulk. That is a lot of green. It is a lot of green. Oh, and an Avenger ID card. So we got Hulk. We have Swordsman. Who? Uh, you know what? Actually, that's interesting enough. I'm, we're gonna pull that out. Just in case you guys haven't seen. Oh, it's a Black Widow card. And I think we've seen the other three. Aleph, Triathlon, and... Oh, Justin again. So, yeah. So, Swordsman's trait is called Repose. When Swordsman is the target of a close combat attack, and the attacker can use Blade Claw Fangs, Close Combat Expert, or Precision Strike, you may roll a d6 on a successful attack, but before damage is dealt. If the result is equal to or higher than the attacker's printed damage value... Swordsman is dealt no damage by this, uh, by this attack, and the attacker is dealt one unavoidable. Tell me that won't be the most annoying thing you've ever seen. Definitely. Yeah. There's and, a lot of annoying things in this game, and that is not one of them. And Natasha Romanoff, a Black Widow card. Modify attack value by plus one is her inspiration. Always helpful with some of these, uh, being able to hit that 21 defense. Yes. That is needed nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Pat's computer's still long in the straighter armor, so he's gently talking with me. One of the uh, SRs I know a lot of people who are very Ooh. excited for. These bags don't open, apparently. Um, the hood. I'll let you get it. Oh, is that actually a Yeah. There you go. Ooh, the hood. Parker Robbins. You know, it's interesting because when I saw the dial... Did you see fire? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Nothing else new in this booster, but the hood. Looks... When uh, when they first showed the hood, I like both dial, both sides. Normally, I gravitate to one. I'm like, oh, I'll play that. Or I don't really like what that one gives. Both of them look good to me. Yeah. Go ahead. Our service Oh, Master Pandemonium. I think this is another character that we're still waiting for the uh, for the dial for. Oh, and another ID card. Mockingbird. Moth. Have we already got uh, Demon? Yep. So Demon. all the rest of them are uh, Silver Claw, Demon, Living Lightning, more Ice for Captain uh, Cold, and Justice. So we'll get to, to Master Pain in Momentarily. So Mockingbird's card. Her inspiration is modify defensive value by plus one. Blop. <laughs> oh, he's got a pollock. So, Master Pandemonium, I will, uh... He is a flyer with all the other standard, uh, ones. He is a mystic at 129 points. I'm going to give this to Terry to show.
pull back out uh, for a second here? Yeah, that's good. Okay. And do you want to read the, the trench for us, Trey? Demonic Arms is a trait that he has. Give Master Pandemonium a power action when there are no demonic arm tokens on the map placed by him. I'll show his demonic arm token in a moment, but it is a flyer with a 10 speed, poison and 11 attack, 15 defense, and it's tiny with one exploit, and it has the Mystic's team ability. Uh, place up to two demonic arm bystander tokens as described on this card on the map within five squares and line of fire. For each of these tokens on the map, Master Pandemonium modifies his attack value by minus one. When one of these demonic arm tokens is KO'd, roll a d6, and on a result of one to three, deal Master Pandemonium one unavoidable damage. So, because he's new, I'm just going to leave him here over on the side. You know, we haven't seen an awful lot out of this brick so far, so I think their sealed pulls might be really good. <laughs> I see I see a green ring. Oh! And a red cake. Ragnarok! Ragnarok. I haven't with wanted no S I haven't wanted a uh, an SR Prime in a while. But I find those Dark Avengers to be uh, to have some of the most punchable faces in all of comics. And I require Iron Fist to punch them all. Unavoidable knockback is it's quite interesting sounding to me. Nice. I, I can't think of how many times a oh, charge, no knockback. And I get really disappointed, but unavoidable, that's going to be something cool. Everything else here looks like stuff we've seen already. Uh, Black Widow, Hazmat, Reptile, and I, I really like that Spider-Woman, the Julia Carpenter sculpt. Yeah, it does look cool. All right. Ladies. Okay. So this is my last regular booster. Uh, and then Jeff has one more, and then we're going to go into our sealed pulls. I'm kind of glad you pulled Ragnarok off now. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because there are a lot of Avengers running around. There are one uh, or two. They are Not required for you to have that on us. Okay. And we have oh Loki. First Loki. Oh, first Loki. First Loki. We have uh, another Hazmat, another Justice. Ultra Girl and another Falcon. And nope. No Avenger ID card. Alright, the last one. Oh, we got an Avengers ID card. Ooh, SR. Damn. Bags are difficult for me. <laughs> Captain Universe. Would you say they're not your bag, baby? They are not. She is really cool. Uh, and Moonstone. I think this is the first Moonstone we've seen. You know, it might be. Okay, yeah, because you pulled Power Princess, right? Yep. But not Moonstone. Not Moonstone. Everyone else, uh, we got... Oh, metal. Have you pulled metal? Yes. Okay. So I'll just pop him out. There you go. Uh, but Hellcat as well and Son of Serpent. So for the card, we got Nova. Ooh, nice. And his inspiration is modify speed value by plus two. Again, you kind of expect that from Nova. Makes sense to me. Plus two, although that's a nice bonus on the charge running shot. Yes, very much so. Because, of course, it happens after the modification, so... Yeah. All of a sudden, you go from charging five to charging seven. It is. I. I. You know what? I was yet. playing a game last. No. Week. No chase yet. I was playing a game last week with Nebula, and just being able to do that extra two. That's fantastic. All right, so we're gonna okay. open our. Uh, so uh, best of luck, sir. All right. Good luck. Not too good. <laughs> So we pulled the two SRs of the Count Ragnarok as a, as one, which he sometimes that's our prime so sometimes too. Yeah, there's Ragnarok. Oh wait, and Universe Rock. is just a just a rare, just a rare. So yeah. only one. Oh, there you go. Well, we have one. Yes, there's Iron Man. Nice. Iron Man, Thunderstrike. 
Oh, Turbo right. and uh, Firebrand. Oh, okay. So, uh, this is actually, you know what? This would be a really great bull and sealed, which is great because it is sealed. So, I got the two Hawkeyes, uh, Clint Bart and his brother. Have we pulled uh, Bowman yet? No, I don't know. No, so first, first Bowman. So, we get Bowman. Uh, we get uh, Brother Hawkeye, which I'm sure Hawkeye hates it when he's referred to as the brother. We get uh, one of my personal favorites, Echo. And then, just to fill out the, the hat trick of the archers, we also have Hawkingbird. With Rage being the, the fifth character. So, make sure we leave these ones together so I don't mess them up for the sealed purposes. But I think Terry and I are going to be quite happy with that poll. There's an Iron Man there. Okay. One more booster left. One more booster left. Yeah. You want to go first? Nope. It smells like victory. Does it smell like victory? Victory. It smells like Starbrand? <laughs> Starbrand? A lot of uh, little windy things going on. It's Starbrand. Is that a first Starbrand? Whirlwind. Bail. Metal and Son of Serpent. Apparently I missed up this one. What's the last one? Uh, Son of Serpent. Another Son of Serpent. It's really coming down the wire, eh? Yeah, it really is. So... Remember we were talking about those chases? Uh, insert stalling tactic here for dramatic effects. Are, are you familiar with all the chases that are in this archive? Yes. Uh, I was taking a look at most of them. So what do we got? Uh, well, Hulk. We got Hulk. Cap is Nova. Cap is Nova. Uh, I, was, I couldn't quite pick it with the Iron Man. I, I think he's just a, a Mark 42 Hulk Buster thing, someone was saying. We have Goliath, yeah. uh, Barton. We have uh, I, I Want to Be Thor, Black, uh, Black Widow. Widow. Holding the yeah. yeah. Um, there is Rick Jones. There is Rick, that, such a great looking thing. Yes, I'm really excited about that. And King Thor. And right, King Thor, of course. Is that all? How many? I think Stop so. Counting. Yeah, I think that's all. So is that right, Terry? All of them? Anyways, so here's Thor. Uh, so here's Hulk. So, so it's Hulk. It's Hulk. The end Hulk? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I noticed one of his powers is uh, get away from me, bugs. And I know that was a big thing in the story. Ah, uh, Scarlet Spider. To eat him. <laughs> Have we already got a Thunderstrike yet? Yeah, I pulled one. Yeah, you pulled the thing. Take it here as well. Excellent. That awkward moment when the person across the table pulls Hulk. Hulk versus Iron Man. Yes, to do this for quite some time. Okay, so yeah, so the um, the last ones were uh, Manifold, uh, Thunderstrike. I think we're I think we're up to I think we're up to Van. Is that our first Manifold? Yeah. Oh, well, then I will take him out. So we can see. Oh. Manifold. Oh, did we go back out to the zoom out? We didn't zoom back in? I don't think we ever zoomed in. Oh, okay. I think we zoomed in. So, yeah, so that's our second Scarlet Spider? Uh, I put no, one here as well. Oh, so we definitely got MVP. So, yeah. Excellent. Yes. Oh, yeah, right, heard. yes. So, excellent. So, uh, guys, uh, we will take a look. Let's see. The end hall. Okay, uh, so we will pass. <laughs> have to ask the Alex. Can we get the Alex for a second? So let's have to ask uh, the Alex a quick question because we did end up pulling the Hulk. Uh, but someone guessed all of the chases before anyone else got another comment. So we will see what, how, they, what the ruling. What is. did they guess first? Uh, King Thor. I, the, the the benefit is that we are not the ones who have to decide. So, 
we have a question uh, in regards to how to determine who, who correctly guessed the chase. Because one individual in particular guessed all seven in a row. Which one was his first? Uh, his first was King Thor. Well, I'd go with the first. You go that's with how, the first ones? That's how I see it. Okay. Someone else guess it? That is a beautiful piece. I'd like to really like I, hand it to the Thor, or to the Hulk. All these years, and not once have his pants completely ripped off. Hmm. Good for him. Well... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna pass the chat off to the Alex, and he will decide off camera who who in fact is the winner, because I believe we want to want to do it fair. So that's the individual who guessed all of them, and I'm pretty sure that's after the fact. After you drew it, I believe so. So we'll we'll let the Alex decide, so that we don't have to. And what we're gonna do, guys, is uh, as soon as we're done with this live streaming video. Hmm? So uh, after we're done with this live stream video, um, we're going to uh, we're going to turn off our live programming for today. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us so much, and lo uh, hopefully we're looking forward to both live and YouTube content in the future. But what we're going to do is we're going to do quick uh, building videos for what our SEAL teams are, and then we're going to videotape a quick SEAL game between uh, my champion Terry. This feels weird to say, and uh, the opposer, Jeff. Uh, and we'll have a, uh, a quick sealed match that hopefully will be up for you in the next couple of days. So, we want to come back to this? Looks like we don't have a winner. That's what I see. You get to declare? There was, uh, there was, uh, Silent Pat did say it was after. Yeah. And the other gentleman said King Thor first. Very close though, he said Hulk second. Yeah. So, so I, I think in the interest of fairness, I think Alex has chosen right. We're not going to have a winner for this event. We're going to carry it over. Absolutely. To, to the next one. How about we stack them until someone gets them right? So people have to keep watching. Apparently those weebles will wobble and fall down. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to sign off, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you so much for uh, paying attention to us and uh, helping us out. And we will see you with the next content. Uh, I am, of course, I'm Vince. I'm Trader Armor. This is Carter Magica. My uh, assistant today has been... Judge Jeff. With the assistance of uh, the wonderful, the only, Koi Terry. And the one and the only, the Alex. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.